Hello and welcome to the production breakdown for the last song I'll ever write for you, I promise. This one's probably gonna be a quick one because there's not heaps that's going on until the end, so let's get into it. This song's a little different to all the other ones that I've done as I only wrote it on guitar, which is super unusual for me. And it just started as like the most simple thing, just the song. And then all the production stuff came later. Normally I like to pull up sounds and, and do cool drums and whatever, but this one was a very much more personal, much less silly song. So we started just with guitar. I wrote this on electric, but I retracked it on an acoustic because I thought that fit the vibe more. So here's what we got. You get the vibe you've heard guitar before. And my vocals with this. I know you think it's weird Selling all our feelings just to try to make it a career Not doing much there. But it's all I've got. There's actually even less effects and stuff on the vocals. I normally have more going on, so it's pretty raw. The raw deal, just for you guys. That stays like that until the pre, where we bring in our first production element, which is this sound. And then it harmonies out. It's weird and sort of stuttery. After that, the next step towards production land was doubling the guitar in the chorus, and it's panned left and right, so it's extra wide. Start chugging. The synth comes in there as well, so we've got the... With a few little plucks that I added in doing this. And that just gets more strong with the vocals. We could have a just Second verse, which is the same as the first verse, except now we've got the double guitars going. And I tried to keep them kind of like a little bit shitty, so. Didn't mind too much that they're a bit sloppy. Normally I would retract stuff like that, but for whatever reason, the sloppiness really appealed to me and I wanted to keep it like that. I saved the six takes to be able to go through and like edit them together later to be like a cleaner part, but I just thought it was cool, so didn't. This is probably my favorite sound in the whole bit. Bit of synths and distortion, nothing crazy. Then this sort of drone comes in, and then on the other side. So it's like a little bit dissonant, but not too crazy. And then it cuts out. So in context, that cutout sounds like. Actually, maybe this is my favorite bit of the whole thing, this guitar stuff. So the sounds there, we've got the guitar. And it's got a lot of stuff on it, so if I solo just what's actually being played. And even though it's pretty, it felt, I felt it needed to be a bit more like, a bit less pretty. A little bit of distortion from radiator. Cassette, making it sound a bit like, then we added RC20 to make it even a bit more vinyl-y, I guess. Let's add that bit crush thing that's wobbling up here. My favorite thing is this chorus plugin that looks something like this. And we have this big pause, then we get into production line, so. And that sound is the drums that have got crazy effects on them. A bit of bit crush and like, it's just me. Hitting random bits of the drums, you like, like getting ready, and then we got there. That's live drums, recorded them right there. You can't see them, but they're there. We got some bass with it as well, so it's doing similar stuff. Drums are actually really hard to mix, they don't sound good for a very long time. So if I turn off all the stuff, it sounds like this. Doing similar 
of stuff. We got like a build up. <laughs> Of like phase three top end. guitar thing that we did on the acoustics, now it's on the regular guitars. It gets kind of massive there, but it's only really like rock band instruments, there's no production stuff going on, until we get back to the last chorus. Back to back guitar. And then we have this. So then I bring in the very original guitar that I recorded, which is electric guitar, but playing the acoustic part from the start. Now that's happening here. So I'm like slow mode it in. We got those pluck things from before. And then I sort of messed around with a bunch of effects on that stuff to get these kind of like glitchy. Like... And it's just like a high version of that same part. Hands are different sides, different hands. And we put in more of those glitchy things throughout, so we got. If we put all that stuff together at the end, we kind of get this kind of. Last final chord, release. Ah, we made it. It's sad, but we're at the end. I always try and add in some extra sort of like live sounds uh, to make stuff feel more real. This is one of them. I, I didn't need to make that noise, but I just like sort of slew my hands along the strings and stuff. And that's the song. The closest you'll get to an acoustic ballad from Daphne. For now, at least. Maybe we'll do it one day. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Hope you like the song. It's a very special one to me, uh, and it means a lot that people are listening to it. So.